So since November 2019, the Cybertruck has had its fair share of controversies, and so it should have. Elon Musk was making a huge promise here, and as of yesterday, he followed through with that promise at the Cybertruck delivery event. The event felt very Top Gear-esque, with the audience almost wrapped around the Cybertruck as Elon Musk stood there in the bed of the truck as he ran off the features. More than a truck, faster than a sports car was the promise, and I've got to say, he didn't disappoint. And, and so what we have here is, is something that is a better truck than a truck, while also being a better sports car than a sports car in the same package. First up was a demo of the glass with what seemed to be a small metal ball being thrown at the glass, which was done before at the reveal event, but it didn't go too well. Franz, could you try to break this glass, please? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Oh my fucking God. Well, Maybe that was a little too hard. But this time with the revised glass, which is now called Tesla Armor Glass, the glass seemed to eat up the ball without even having any vibrations and it didn't even leave a mark. Elon also explained that the glass will allow for a quieter ride, which is nice. Originally, they intended to use a 30 time cold rolled stainless steel but they couldn't use that because of the lines on the Cybertruck, it would have actually broken the press during manufacture. So they had to make something that was more workable while also still being bulletproof and actually Joe Rogan proof too. Uh, I was on the Joe Rogan show and uh, Joe bet me a dollar that his armor piercing steel head arrow would go through the car. It uh, hit, no, he owes me a dollar. <laughs> One thing that I was particularly impressed by was the 1.2 payload capacity and the 5.5 towing capacity of this vehicle, which is pretty good by normal standards. Slightly less impressive was to fit 4x8 sheet material, which if you're in construction, you'll understand that's kind of a standardized size, which to fit in the bed of the truck, you'd actually have to open the tailgate. And because of the sloping profile at the rear, you'd have to actually open the electric tonne cover to fit a decent amount on as well. Obviously, this isn't the most secure way of transporting these kind of materials, and it's quite surprising given the overall length of the Cybertruck itself. This disappointment is slightly offset though by the fact that in the bed of the truck, there is actually power outlets that will allow you to pretty much power anything. This is thanks to the 48 volt power architecture, which hasn't actually ever been used in an EV before, Usually it's around 12 volts. Now these next two things are going to blow your mind, but rather than me explain, let me just show you. Take a look at this. So um, for those who are really into the truck world, there's, there's something uh, in the truck world called a, a truck pull. This is really the, the, the key test of how much power does your truck actually have. So you have to pull this uh, 40,000 pound sled and uh, when we went to the track, we said, well, well what's the best uh, that, that you've seen? I said, well, it's, it'd be the Ford uh, F-350 diesel. I was like, well, let's, let's put our truck up against that. So the, the guy who runs the, the truck pool said, there's no way. There's no way. It's like, well, let's try it. Let's see what happens. We actually had to slightly turn the car at the end so it didn't hit the wall. Now being in construction myself and knowing how it is on the job site, that's going to give you some serious bragging rights. But it doesn't finish there. Check this out. So 
let's take it to the racetrack and see how, how does the Cybertruck perform against a Porsche 911. And I, sh I should say, this is, this is an actual Porsche. It's, we literally just got it from the dealer. 2023 Porsche 911. But wait, there's more. So the... the, the <laughs> It can, it can tow a Porsche 911 across a quarter mile faster than the Porsche 911 can go by itself. How mad is that? <laughs> Other notable features include four corner air suspension, fully adjustable, giving you 17 inches of ground clearance, regardless of your payload, four wheel steering, which operates on a steer by wire system. Now this means if you're going at a slow speed and you turn the wheel a little bit, it's gonna turn the wheels a lot. But if you're driving down the motorway or a freeway, for instance, and you turn the steering wheel a little bit, it'll only turn the wheels a little bit, which I've seen before actually on aircraft. Now what I thought was really, really cool, that was at the end of the event, they actually started giving customers the cyber trucks. Now what was abundantly clear that obviously they're delivering these cyber trucks, but they were only giving them to US customers. But considering they have the cyber truck on their UK website at the moment, I'm pretty sure we're going to see cyber trucks over here in the near future. And that's something that I'd really look forward to seeing. Anyway, guys, if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>